Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to Yogvir and Tour! This is a super fun Age of Sigmar narrative campaign. Now, it's already gone out, but half of it was put in the Mini Wargaming vault. But thanks to our recent 24-hour live stream and uh, a fundraiser we did, we're going to put out the entire thing for free. So we're going to put it out all again over the next few weeks. So this has all been recorded. So if you see anything that you suggestions you want, we'll of course put them in the comments and we'll be able to use them for future narrative campaigns. But sit back and enjoy Yogvir. And Tor. Previously on Yogvir and Tor, Yogvir and Tor, along with all the refugees of Orgel and the Ravikan tribesmen and everybody else from the caravan and every other refugee that they managed to pick up, have continued along their way with the Auric hordes not too far behind. Eventually, they realize that in order to pass through this one small pass, they are going to have to slow down the Auric vanguard. Otherwise, the caravan will get caught. Yogvir, of course, is very happy about this. Tor realizes it's a necessity, and the Ravikan chiefess is ready to help. They head back and prepare an ambush for all sorts of the vanguard of the Orc horde. Jumping out, they immediately take out some Orc boar boys and a maniac weird boy, and shortly after that, are ambushed by a group of spider fang riders. Yogvir heroically bolts forward decapitates the gigantic spider with a scuttle boss on top, and then weathers the attack of several spider fang riders, miraculously surviving several volleys of arrows and several poisonous bites of the spiders. Turning around, he destroys most of them with Tor helping with the rest. But with a deafening roar, a huge wyvern, a maw crusher with a mega boss on top, lands amidst all of them, knocking Yogvir back. And with a roar, he challenges Yogvir and Tor. Yogvir, of course, is happy to, to help him with his request and charges on in. And just as he's about to get there, an arrow sinks right into the wyvern, killing it in one shot. Yogvir looks back and sees that Tor has done this. And when he looks back again, the mega boss has jumped off of his dead beast and charges towards Yogvir with one fell swoop, almost taking him down, but failing to totally knock him unconscious. As he's whipping his attack around, Yogvir ducks out of the way, swings his huge sword, and decapitates the mega boss in one swoop. And after that, the rest of the forces retreat, seeing their mighty boss taken down so easily by a mere human. And that leads us to today. We play and call it work. Yogvir, Yogvir and Tor. Yogvir and Tor. Looking for more, Yogvir and Tor. Yogvir, Yogvir and Tor. Yogvir and Tor. Looking for more, Yogvir and Tor. With the bravery of Yogvir Tor and their Ravikan allies in intercepting the Greenskin Outriders, the caravan was allowed quick passage through the jaws of Gromorakan and descended the cold mountain pass onto the frigid high plateau of Thar Sorin, the seat of the kingdom of Tharland. Ahead, in the distance, a second plateau rose above the tundra plains, bedecked in thick snow and glimmering in the light of the dawn. Even though it was a dozen miles away, Tor could see the long, squat walls meant for warding off tectonic upheavals as much as enemy forces. Above those walls, pointed roofs and squat towers loomed beneath the shadow of a large arch, fashioned from the jaws of some immense ancient beast. Ruins spread from the central city, smoke billowing from the gutted structures of former farmhouses, barns, and silos. Makeshift camps were scattered all around the small plateau the city was built upon, conveniently just out of the reach of the city's siege weapons. The greenskins are already here, Tor hissed in disbelief. From the cook fire to the meat pit, Yogvir muttered, scratching his head. How'd they get here so fast? Yogvir and Tor were a mile ahead of the caravan of refugees, standing atop a massive cairn that was likely a Trogoth burial mound. From the looks of things, the caravan was only heading into more danger. I cannot fathom, Tor shook his head. There's only one way through the pass. So unless a force was dispatched weeks ago to go around the Grimorax, they could not be here. Maybe they ran really fast, Yogvir grunted. Like, really fast. Tor rolled his eyes before focusing in on the greenskin encampment surrounding Tharnhelm. No, this is a vanguard, a deep vanguard, deployed weeks ahead of the main force on an elaborate flanking maneuver. I imagine they're supposed to keep the Tharlanders busy until the main horde arrives and prevent any communication with outside. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like they're attacking. No, Tor returned sardonically. As I said but a moment ago, this force is here to hold the Tharlanders, not conquer Tharnhelm. It's too small to actually take the city walls, and... He trailed off, noting the spread of encampments. The density of the green skin was... minimal. 
They were spread thin to cover all approaches to the city. And what? Yalgrir looked at Tor. And it's not large enough to hold the Tharlanders in, either, Tor finished, realizing that something else was afoot. Tharland's garrison is large enough to sally out and shatter the Greenskin line. There must be something else keeping them in. And then he saw it. Malarian's black blood, Tor cursed under his breath as he saw one of the strange effigies the Greenskins had erected near the gate to the city begin to move. The rumbling colossus seemed to stand and shift. What is that thing? Yagvir growled. An idol of stone and hardened auric dung, animated by greenskin magics. Urgh, Yagvir grunted. We should probably break it. Tor was about to object as to how stupid of an idea that was, before he realized that Yagvir's near suicidal plan might be their only course of action. The greenskins were thinly spread enough that they could sneak through and destroy the idol with little resistance. But the greenskins were numerous enough that when the caravan crested the Cairn Hills behind them, the greenskins would see and split off a part of their force to raid the caravan. Battered and beleaguered as it was, Tor doubted the caravan would survive. They had to strike. Now. His mind raced. I can almost guarantee you the idol is what's keeping the Tharlanders from selling out. They're afraid of it, and it's staying out of the range of their cannons, putting the vanguard of the city in a deadlock. But if we destroy it, we'll open a gap in the siege line. The Tharlanders could sally out and wreak havoc on this vanguard force. They could break this little greenskin army easily and give the caravan easy passage to the city. Yagvir grinned. Good plan, elf. For once. Tor smirked. Yes, yes, you iconoclastic gargant. Only because it involves large-scale vandalism, yes? Uh, large-scale what? Yagvir turned. Come on, I have no time for your sneaky word games. Let's get to revenging! With no further word, the two of them dropped off the cairn and began quietly approaching the greenskin line. Yagvir and Tor on the tundra plains near Tharnhelm. Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot it for a second. Approaching just the outskirts of one of the encampments that they had. They just couldn't sneak around all of them. They had to deal with some of them. And the orcs do just catch, guard, catch wind of them just as they're coming through, but the main bulk of the orc forces are far from here. And where you saw the rogue idol was over in this general area. So that That's is awful. where you are headed. We're going this way? Well, you gotta deal with the orcs too, unless you just want them to flank you. It's up to you. So what is your course of action? Running. I'm gonna run. Same. Oop. Four and five. So Tor is up here, oh, and Yagvir is over there. Do you want to boost your run? Since I got a five, I will boost it. So I get to run a flat six plus the d6 I rolled. So you gotta, so you gotta do a sprint, which lets you change your run into a six, or you can boost it and add d6 instead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Use the d6 for the run roll. You, yeah, you add six to it instead. So you're gonna boost it with which card? Oh, the boost. So your, your free boost. Six more inches. And then the orcs look a little confused as you're just <laughs> running through. And uh, they, they're gonna run after you. So we got the guys up front. Uh -oh. Move three. Brutes, five. These guys, art boys, one. And they're out to this far. And these two will run as well. Four and four. Out to there. So you're still pretty far away from them. And they're sallying out. They don't seem too concerned about two individuals. So they don't even call for reinforcements. Tor is surprised by how fast Yagvir is going. Look, you see how big his legs are? I know, right? Well, it's just, <laughs> but all this time, it's always been Tor out front and Yagvir shortly behind. And it was, as soon as there's a big rocky thing to beat up, Yagvir is like, woohoo! Not looking forward to that. You put your sneakers on. Run time! I'm gonna go an additional one. Uh, Can you uh, use your other sprint? Uh, Turn it to a six. Yeah, I guess. No, so boosting just, it. Just, no, no, boosting wouldn't make any yeah. sense. You just add six. So you're just gonna turn it to a six. Yeah. 14 inches. Oh, jeez, my tape measure's all messed up. <laughs> we were gonna go over here. I'm just gonna move up to here. And then take some shots backwards. Might as well. You turn around, pull out your bow. Any kind of special shots? Nope. Oh, then you're not gonna kill anything. Yeah, well, we're gonna he one wanna, you know, he doesn't Twos and threes. Oh, he's six gonna kill some. Six up save. There are two wounds each, though. He killed two of them. Two of them. Oh, wow. Color me impressed. A bunch of arrows come raining back. Thup, 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 and two of them go down. The other ones growl angrily, but still seem unconcerned. It's two of battle shock. Maybe they are concerned. Uh, nope, they're fine. And they all just kind of like, oh, okay. And they start running forward again. The ones out front. Three. One. Yeah. And three. Still not quite up to a full jog. Urgh. 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 Go get him, boys. Are you gonna run again? I will attempt another run into the mist with a fog. Oh, hey. Five you know, inches. He's gonna bump into something. Oh, I got eight? That's yeah. Yeah. Everything uh, just looks like stone around here. You right. are Yagvir, after all. 
Tor, you're gonna stay within bow range, or are you gonna try to catch up to Yogbeer? You wanna blink? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this time. You're gonna run? You're like, oh, a little too close for comfort. Five, so 15 inches. Send me that away. Like the wind. As you are running into these ruins, Tor glances around and realizes something is wrong. These ruins weren't here last time it was here. He recognizes them as Indravari ruins. Indravari being the ones that have been popping up mysteriously all over the place, linked to the realm of Atravost. With that, he realizes that the, mer and the convergence of the realms has already begun even more as it anchors itself more and more to the realm of Gur. Everything just feels out of place. Yogvir, in the meantime, as he runs amongst the ruins at full tilt, somehow forgetting his vengeance with the orcs, eager to go after something much, much bigger. He has a, he has a taste for it now that he faced down a wyvern and a colossal squig and so many other large creatures that he got to fight and beat by himself. Mm -hmm. As he runs in here, looking around, he stops short as he realizes he can't really see very far. And once he stops and looks around, there's a large, loud, grinding noise as one of the nearby ruins turns to look at him. So this was here all along. It just blended in with everything else. And the rogue idol appears from the mist and starts lumbering towards you with a green fire in its eyes and a weird, rocky growl as it roars towards Yogfear in defiance. So it's my turn now, my hero phase. I might as well defensive fury. So as you stand there and he roars down at you, you get a glee, a look uh, of glee in your face. Yeah, glee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all of a sudden worried? No, I'm What do you worried. think a towering rock idol would look like? I don't know, now I know. Everything that's charged you has died. This is true. <laughs> it's when you charge things, it's the problem. True. It's true, All right, so defensive fury, are you going to max it out? Yes, let's see what we can do. He's still got lots of cards. This should be a piece of cake. Sure. You guys were supposed to use a bunch of your cards against the orc camp. Pile you just, driver. You just got rid of pile driver. You don't think you can knock it down? I, his base size is bigger than 50 mil. I know. You could not. I wouldn't let you even if you didn't say that. So we're going to put this down as your temporary hit points. So you're at full health and temporary hit points. Terrifying. It comes forward right into here, just bashing things aside. And he has to charge eight inches to make it. Booyah! Five oh, inches! Oh, my defensive fury. And the defensive fury goes away. I guess it's a fail. Oh, and these guys ran up as well. And you got your hero phase. Anything? I'm gonna boost an awesome combo. You're gonna boost with, it for what? Yep, with a mark and um. What other hero? Actually, half. I was gonna say, what other hero phase things do you want to do? Well, I was gonna plus one to wound, but you can't. Is just you can't combine those right now. You're in the hero phase. Oh, those are not. Oh, he had done it before, though. No, you didn't. Um, I wouldn't let it. So you can just mark it. I'll just, I'll just actually just mark, I'll just boost the mark. With, so with boost awesome it with combo. the awesome combo card. <laughs> yeah. And so you're going to mark the rogue idol and you can reroll any hit and wound rolls. That's the thing. I'm a, oh, I'm also want to drink a potion. The speed potion? Yep. So you get plus three movement, so you can move 13 inches. Oh, yeah, I might as well take that. And you get plus one attacks. There we go. To all your weapons. Tor gets ready to fire at the rogue idol. I'm going to multi-shot, and I don't think I'm going to boost or combo that, so I'm going to boost it with... Yeah, the multi-shot will be better than headshot, because it does ha you do half damage to it. I think an explosive shot is a good boost. So let's boost it. So, D so you have five D6 shots. How many shots? Uh, uh, 16. 16. Lots of shots hitting on twos, re-rolling. Those two misses. So all 16 oh. shots hit. Now, it's got 14 wounds, so you're probably not killing with it. Twos to wound. Threes. Threes. Oh, I threes didn't to boost wound. The, uh, plus one. That's right. That's right. So re-roll. Okay, not bad. Oh so that's fourteen wounds. That's enough to kill him, except that he has four a four-up save. So I'd have to fail every last one of these for him to die. I failed five of them. Uh oh. He's down to nine wounds. Yagvir, are you gonna charge on in? Yes, sir. Don't roll double one. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Why die. are you rolling one die? Two plus. Three. Well, we rolled the two, you know you're already good. Boom! Yog oh. Yogfear is in! Woo. You ready to try to take it down in one shot? I'm kind of... I, uh, I fear what Because if you don't, I don't, yeah. I'm going to Mighty Strike boost with... So double attacks, plus one range, plus one rend, and you max your damage on them. Uh, boost it with an awesome combo that I probably won't use. Eight attacks with your sword Ooh. hitting on twos, re-rolling. Don't need it. Threes to wound, re-rolling. Oh, okay, three of them missed, but reroll. Nice. nice. So these are normally damage three because you max it, but you, he takes 
you, he halves any of your damage rounded right. up, so this damage tree becomes damage two. It's a rent two. It is a rent two, so he only has a six up save. I think you just took him out. No, you did just, just take him out. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I guess. I don't even know. And you be. take one mortal wound as the as the rocks collapse all around you. Maybe I ignore it. You might. You no, don't. Like, I do, I do. like charging through, kind of like hacking at his leg, and just like attack, attack right through his legs. Like no, he starts tumbling down. A rock doinks me off the head. <laughs> I just keep going through his legs. Oh, one motion. Well, one run, I guess. Yeah, you many, many hacks. Yeah, many hacks. I was gonna say it's Eight not. Hacks to be it's this, one mighty strike. <laughs> And, up on the other side. and it crushes out. Sure, you can like have pushed Just right as, through as it. As I oh, cut through his legs, and I take a mortal wound from the rock, hit my head. The orcs are stop short, and they kind of just don't do anything. And they, the other ones catch up <laughs> and slow down. They broke their spirit. <laughs> and they're just they're they're. they're oh, oh, oh. And Yogvir and Tor casually walk back. Tor less casual than Yogvir. Yogvir with a big grin on his face, covered in dust. Yeah. And a, and a, a, and a head wound. Yeah, <laughs> and a head a little, head wound. A little trickle of blood coming down. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> and they just kind of look. They're like, oh. And they turn, and they kind of, they're looking over at the prophet, and he's like, Ah, Korkamark is not here today! And he starts running away, and then they, they all start to falter as Yagvir charges through and starts chopping through the ranks of the orcs, oh, orcs. Who, are, who aren't, who at this point aren't even fighting back. They're just like turning and fleeing in terror as you take them out. Arrows start raining in, wow. and you take them out. I am not going to stretch this out. You were supposed to have fought the orcs first. Got worn down, used a bunch of your cards. There was going to be reinforcements because they would have seen how much of a threat you were <laughs> and drawn them in. You would have used 70% of your cards and then you would have faced but the rogue the idol. The barbarian ran into the fog. Yeah, his, the fog. he just runs <laughs> off, like, bumps into the rogue idol and just destroys it with Taurus' help, of course. Although, I, I don't know, you may have you may have one shot at it without his help. Close. If seven of those got through. Oh, seven went through? Yeah, because yeah, it's six up, seven of them get through. And... Yeah. No, I have two wounds left. Yeah. I, I did those two important wounds. You did. Oh, well, mighty axe, buddy! Two mighty axes! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally it. The orcs seen us. We were trying to be sneaky, they seen us, we're like, I just run! And we <laughs> <laughs> run! Fire, fools! <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna stop it there. I, I feel that's appropriate. I know it's a little shorter, but I feel story-wise, it just, it just makes more sense <laughs> to base it off of your actions like that and reward the actions that you, you decided to take. <laughs> no, you didn't mess it up, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. We it's all gone. So thanks so much for watching. You're not li you're not live leveling up though. You're not getting a free level up for running forward and killing one of our items. Uh, no items. All right. Yeah. Wait, that's what we get. Not a single thing in this camp that's worth. It's an orc camp. What do you think you're gonna find? Elixirs. Yeah. Special items. Loot. You find you find 150 copper pieces. Nice. All right. Nice. Nice. You can write write that down. Write that down. What head is what's it What head is on the mint there? Um, some uh, beast, like okay. it looks like a, like a big I'll skull. All the same. They'll, all stand, they'll the same factory. Most of them, except for one of them. One of them's a little different. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a little it's a little well. more. Yeah, yeah. The the one's a little older. It's a little more tarnished, but it's still valid as one copper piece. Nice. Okay. Do you think they use the mining calendar? Okay, what do you discern from these coins? What's that? What would you discern from these coins? What do you do? Okay. I have no idea what you just said. What else on these coins? What are the markings? We have dates. We have some sort of beast head. That's What's it. What's on the other side? Um, that's where the date is. The date, the date, the and there's a big and there's a big scratch that says one. Nice, worth one. This is worth one. Yeah. <laughs> this one coin is worth one. I should have retired with the kings. Well, with 150 copper coins. It's more weight yesterday. I usually just get everything for free. Oh, that's true. I just ask and intend to give it to me. I don't remember this 150 copper coin. Huh? We're using somehow. You can figure it out. I'll that. I will figure it out. Right. You buy a house with it somehow. Trade up, right? Oh, so you, you walk, in, someone walk into a <laughs> yeah, walk into a city with a single thumbtack. Excuse me. And then own a negotiated. <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway, that's it then. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Young Tour next week. Happy wargaming.